Hey everyone, in this video I'm gonna talk about an add-on which is gonna make our lives easier for those of us who are making Minecraft animations. It's currently being developed but you can already start using it on the latest Blender versions. Ideally you wanna have Blender 4.2 or 4.01. I'm using 4.02 and some features might not be working but I will show you everything that is working and everything that you can do. So this add-on is called MC Blend and I will leave a link for that in the description. It was created by Aspirata and I will also leave their channel and their contact in the description. And if you download the add-on, then all you need to do is organize it in a folder. Like I would recommend creating an add-ons folder. Then go to edit, preferences, and then search for MC Blend. And once you search for MC Blend, make sure it's enabled, close it. And then right here, if you click on N on your 3D viewport, if you bring out the sidebar, you can see the MC Blend add-on. So if you click on this, you can see all the features that the MC Blend add-on has. So first of all, uh, there are some features which you might think that are similar to MC Prep, but also there are some features which are different from MC Prep. So first thing I would recommend is go to MC Prep, because I think most of you watching should have an MC Prep add-on enabled. If not, I will leave a link for the video in the description. And again, same thing, go to Edit Preferences, search for MC Prep, and then make sure you have the MC Prep add-on enabled. So after that, go to OBJ World Import. So I'm going to click on OBJ World Import, and I'm going to import my map. So I'm gonna go inside my Minecraft animations folders, maps, and then tutorial world. Now, after you imported your world, make sure not to touch anything, make sure not to select or deselect anything. And then after you import the world, go to the MC Blend icon. And then here you should see an option which is called Fix World. If I click on Fix World, it's just gonna correct my materials. It kind of works the same as prep materials, but it's also a bit different. It doesn't add too many materials to it. So if I select the leaves, for example, and I go inside the shading, you can see it's pretty clean doesn't have a lot of materials only image texture principal bsdf and material output so that's one feature you can fix the world without having too many materials and also one of the coolest features of this add-on is that you can set up procedural materials so for example let's say i want to add bump to the stone make it more bumpy more 3d if you're working on like a cool animation or a thumbnail design so instead of setting up my materials manually i can go to mc blend and then scroll down here where you have procedural pbr and then make sure you have use bump checked and then click on set procedural PBR. Now if I do that, you'll notice that my stone has a bump node, it's becoming more 3D. It's actually 2D, but it gives an illusion as if it's more 3D. That's what basically bump node does. So if I split my screen right here, and if I switch this to shader editor, you will see that I added the bump node. And then here you can customize the bump node if you want. You can set the strength to higher. You can also click on invert. You can increase the distance, but don't overdo it because it's going to look weird. But if you leave it on default settings, then that should be fine as well. But yeah, that's one of the cool features. I can do the same thing for this wood. If I have everything enabled, I click on set procedure PBR. That's uh, the bump node. And it makes everything look cooler. Another cool thing about this add-on is the back face calling on the glass. So let's say I import a glass. Again, I'm going to use MC Prep to demonstrate. So I'm going to go to block spawner and I'm going to type glass place glass. So after I imported my glass, one thing I can do is if I don't want to see everything on the back of the glass, I can go to MC Blend once again. So click on MC Blend. And then you remember we use the fixed world option for the entire world. We can do the same thing for the glass. So if I click on fix world, you can see that it removes the back of the glass, which is also another cool feature if you want to do that to your glass. And as you can see, it created a new back face calling node. Now, other features of this add-on include if I'm in EV and if I have my lights imported. For example, I have the spotlight imported. If I want to enable contact shadows for all of them, instead of manually doing it, for example, I have three lights turned on and I have them deselected. I can click on this button, which is called turn on contact shadows. And then this is going to turn on contact shadows for the lights that I have selected. So if I want to turn on contact shadows, I don't have to do them manually on EV. And another cool feature of this add-on, which I don't think any other add-on has, correct me if I'm wrong, if you scroll down here, and then if you click on sleep after render, what this is gonna do is basically if you render your scene overnight, uh, it's gonna sleep your PC after the render, so it's not gonna be turned on, which is pretty useful and a pretty cool feature. Now, another feature for this add-on is you can create a sky, and you can create a sky in MC Prep as well, but this one is a bit different. It looks more cartoony, more moody, so, Again, if I go inside the MC Blend add-on, I'm gonna click on Recreate Sky. But originally, you might see the Create Sky option because I already messed around with this. But if I click on Recreate Sky, and I'm gonna click on OK, 
you can see that I created a new sky with all the stars. Now, if you're using Blender 4.2 or later version of, of Blender, you might see the clouds as well. In my case, the clouds are not created. But again, this add-on is being developed and I think it's gonna work better if you have the latest version of Blender downloaded. Now, the sky is very customizable. So once I created the sky, I can click on advanced options, expand this menu, and I can expand the strength and I can mess around with the moon strength, the star strength, make them glow, make them glow less or more. Uh, I can also mess around with the camera ambient light, but I don't really understand this option too much. So you can mess around with this and then this. So to my understanding, what camera ambient light does is messes, messes around with the world light. And the bottom one, non-camera ambient light, messes around with more like the object and material light. And correct me if I'm wrong on it, but I cannot explain it too much because I'm not good with those myself. But if you understand these options, then you can use it and they're there. Another cool thing I can do is I'm going to minimize this menu and I'm going to expand the colors menu. And I can change the sun color and the moon color. So first thing I need to do is see my sun and moon, obviously. So I can click on rotation. So I'm going to mess around with the time and change it until I'm able to see my sun. So I messed around with the rotations. And if you have the time set to like 12.5, and if you have the X rotation to minus 115, and by the way, you can expand the rotation like this. If you have these settings, then you're able to see the sun from one side and the moon on the other side. So what we can do from here is change the colors. So if I select the sun color and try to change it, you can see that I don't see any changes. But if I go here in the rendered properties, scroll down under color management, click this, and then switch the view transform from AGX to standard. If I switch this to standard, I'm going to be able to see all the changes I make here. So AGX doesn't really work with this add-on. So for now, I recommend to switch to standard, just like Aspirata told me. So if I click on the sun color and change it, you can see that it changes colors. Not that you want any green or blue sun, but if that's what you want, you can go for it. You can make it, maybe make a darker orange and so on. But instead of looking at the physical sun, I want to see the effects that the sun color has on my world. So I'm going to move the time of the day further, maybe something like... 15 and then if i change the sun color you can see that it actually affects my world so if i change it to somewhere like greenish bluish morning sun or i can do like an orange afternoon sun then you can see it works as well so i keep that in mind if you're messing around with the colors then make sure you switch from ajx to standard because in blender i think the default setting should be enabled as ajx and here you can change the rotation of the sun and the moon at the same time it basically works as a texture coordinate node so here we have these options. You can customize the colors, the strength, the time of the day, the rotation and all of that stuff. So that's pretty cool if you wanna add more cartoony sky to your Minecraft scenes. And also one of the cool things that's being developed about this add-on, first let me go to daylight cause you guys can see everything better. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of this panel for now. So I'm gonna go here, left click, drag, and I'm gonna click on shift C. So if you click on shift C, your cursor is gonna go to the world origin and also you're gonna be zoomed out. So if I scroll in and go to my world origin, I can show you different assets that this add-on has. So this add-on has few assets for now, but more assets are going to be added in the future. So if I click on simple player rig and import asset, you can see that I just imported my character. And I can click on control tab and then customize the character like you would other character rigs. So that's pretty cool if you want to use this character, you can try it out. Maybe if you like it, you can use it in your own animations. Here I can enable the teeth as well. I can make the character talk, smile, make him angry, and so on. Another thing you can do is spawn other assets. For example, you can spawn a creeper. And maybe move it somewhere up here. I'm going to go back to the material view because everything is too bright. And you can spawn other things like Warden, for example. There's Axolotl rig. And this, and this works the same as the MC Prep Mesh Spawner. And more things are going to be added here. But I really like the simple player rig because it's pretty cool, not complicated. And you can use this in your own animations as well if you want. So yeah, that's another cool feature of this add-on. Also, this add-on has other cool features with materials. For example, you can convert materials to principled BSDF if it's required. You can fix the shade auto smooth problems. Uh, and again, you can import the assets and all of that stuff. And also there's this rigging feature, which I'm not too familiar with because I'm not very good at rigging. But you can also use these. And if you guys understand the lattice and basic rigging of the objects, you can use these features over here. If you guys understand materials, you can mess around with materials from here. And I know I'm not explaining this in detail because again, once again, I'm not good with those. I'm trying to explain everything that I understand. For example, I understand how the sky works, how the pump node works and everything. 
So I'm telling you guys that you can maybe download this right now, try it out. Maybe you can use it in your animations, in your thumbnail designs or in your graphic designs or anything you want to do with your Minecraft. So yeah, this add-on has like a lot of cool features. Uh, if you guys are good with the materials, then it's going to be a very good add-on for you. And right now it's being developed, so there might be some bugs and errors you might be getting. But don't worry, they're going to be fixed in the future. Uh, Aspirata is working really hard to fix all of these and add new features, add new mobs and meshes and everything else. So yeah, you can use it together with MC Probe. You can get some pretty cool results. You can make your life easier by setting up materials easily, importing assets, re removing the back face calling on the glass and a lot of other things, which I wasn't able to explain because again, I'm not good with that. But I just wanted to promote this add-on and bring it attention to this add-on because it's being developed and Aspirata is working really hard on it. And if you guys try it out, let me know in the comments what your experience was. And I'm going to leave a link for the video in the description. And if you're using Blender 4.1, or 4.2 it's gonna work the best for you i don't think it works really well on blender 3.5 so if you guys have latest versions of blender feel free to download it and try it out so yeah, that's gonna do it for this video i hope you guys like this add-on the little breakdown i did for this add-on and i'm also gonna be using it in the future trying it out and if i understand this more if i understand the material stuff more i'm gonna make a more detailed video about it let me know if you want to see that and also in this week, I'm also going to make a compositing tutorial because a lot of you guys have been asking for it. So stay tuned for that. And also, if you want to see the latest challenge I did, which was I made a Minecraft animation in 24 hours with Zillow Total Budget, then be sure to check out this video right here. And I will see you there. Thank you for watching.